Hi guys! So Sebastian is asleep, he's taking his nap and I was just talking to my nurse um, and I wanted to make this video so I don't forget everything um, next time that I sit in front of the camera. So um, just a recap, I am going through a transfer, an IVF transfer for um, for baby number two. I already have frozen embryos. So they are just picking one um, and putting, you know, in me. And one, the reason that they're doing just one, because I'm young and I'm healthy and they think one at a time works best for my case. So um, there's no way that I'm going to have multiples from IVF, which is very common to see. Um, so anyways, August 30th, I got my period. Three days later, I went for I went into the um, to the office. They have a lab. I got blood work done um, to check my hormone levels, and they also did an ultrasound to see how everything was in there. Um, everything looked good, so we started my um, estrogen. So I was taking two estrogen pills once a uh, one estrogen pill twice a day in the morning and at night. They sought me again four days after, same thing for blood work and ultrasound. Everything looked good, both levels and um, in my lining. So they upped the dosage of estrogen because that's how they do. They gradually just up your dosage of estrogen for three pills, one pill three times a day. So I was taking in the morning, in the afternoon and night. And four days later, which was today, so I went in for, for the third time, they did the same thing, blood work and ultrasound, everything looks good. So today is Monday, September 10th, and on Thursday this week, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, in three days, they want me to start um, not only taking estrogen, which is just a little blue pill, but I'm gonna start the shots. Um, it's progesterone shots, and I wanna show you how it is. So, Oliver. So it comes like this. It's an oil. Progesterone is like an oil, it's an oil form. Um, because it's the second time that I'm doing IVF, um, I, I remember that before my husband did the shots, because he's the one applying, you know, the, putting the needle on me, I cannot do it myself. Um, I used to hold the oil for a good like minute or two, and it kind of warms it up and makes it easy to go into your body. So that's a tip if you're going through IVF. And I received a bunch of um, the syringes just afraid with all over here so the syringes I am not using the needles that come with it I'm just using the base on me he's gonna change the needle to something a little smaller so um, so it hurts less and, um, and I'm starting this in three days and I believe I keep doing it for a while after the transfer but I am not sure I forgot how that works but I'm gonna keep you guys posted um, so that's until that starts on Thursday on Thursday I also go back from taking three pills every day of estrogen it's gonna go back to two a day until they tell me to stop and I am pretty sure I'm gonna need to do one other thing before the transfer itself. Um, the transfer is scheduled for Tuesday, September 18th. So today's Monday, so it's a week and a day from today. And it's crazy because it's coming so close and it's getting more and more real and I'm getting more and more excited. And of course, more and more a little anxious because there's always a chance that this is not gonna work and I'll need to do just this whole thing again. But um, 
I've been praying and a lot of people now know and they have all also been praying and I have a lot of good energy coming towards my way so I'm pretty hopeful that you know we're gonna get this um, done on the first shot but right, let me go because I have tons of stuff to do before this kid wakes up good morning so it's Monday September 17th about 6 30 in the morning um, Sebastian is with me and we are at my doctor uh, for my last blood work and ultrasound before transfer so straighten your arm as much as you can nice tight fits Blood work is done. I usually let Sebastian hanging there with the iPad so he's content and um, ultrasound is next. This is the room. Sebastian is already set in place. These have been my levels and, and everything. And that's where they see if everything looks good in my uterus. <laughs> Uh, let's get ready. 12.8, type 3. Love it. Do you need all the measurements, man? Yeah. Cool. That's great. Eight and eight. Good to go. So Over. now... So tomorrow's the big day. How it usually works now, they did my blood work, right? So the nurse calls me um, with the results and I'm not expecting anything comes up or anything wrong. And then um, and then she tells me if there's any medication or anything that I need to take before transfer, which I think there was. I can't remember from last time, but um, that's it. Hello, hello. So today is September 18th. We just got to the office uh, in Baskin Ridge, New Jersey, where we are doing the transfer. Today's transfer day. Um, yesterday was Monday. I went to the office for my last blood work and ultrasound before transfer. Everything looked good. Um, I'm still taking my estrogen pills. Um, I'm still doing my progesterone shots, which is a little oil, and uh, Frank does it for me in the morning, early in the morning. Um, and besides that, to get ready for transfer, I need to do one vial, like not vial, but like it's a cream that you need to like put like a vaginal. Um, insert and same thing it was like almost like a pill this morning to get ready for transfer um, that's it so we are here it's 1 40 and our appointment is at 2 o'clock and I'm gonna see how much I can record in there so I see it's pretty it's pretty straightforward um, they just wanted me to drink a lot of liquids right fluids to have my bladder full I guess it's easier for them to see um, and do the procedure, but they pretty much just go in with a thaw, thaw like thaw is um, embryos, right? Because they're frozen and well, just one, and um, they put it in, and then we just pray and hope for the best. Here we are. Oh, it's okay. Much nicer inside of me than in the freezer. 